how it ends has to be one of the most mundane the apocalypse is happening now movies I have seen uh, it's just because nothing really happens uh, besides the main characters stopping for gas or being attacked for gas or they need to attack someone for gas it was basically how it ends, the search for gas. One hour and 50 minutes is just too long for your characters to be on a gas hunt. The character's motivation is that the writer decided that that is what was gonna happen. We need gas, characters go get gas. <laughs> no, that's just a silly example. But yeah, if uh, a character was doing something, I didn't really feel like it was uh, in control with the story. It was just the fact that I could tell that the writer was sat there going, well, I just want this guy, the guy to do this and I want this to do this. It didn't really have a bearing on the story. But I just guess the writer did have gas on his mind a lot. And it's really not helped that Forrest Whitaker and Theo James are playing the blandest characters. And I also feel like we've seen Forrest Whitaker play this role many, many times. And the irony of it being called How It Ends with no actual ending. Oh. The person I was watching with said, oh, well, that was missing something. And I couldn't help but go, yeah, an ending. So it never explains how it ends, but more importantly, why it ends. There's dialogue in this and it's put together to question what is happening like why why are we in this apocalypse what's going on but instead of delving into human condition or a theory around the science it's just always responded with i don't know i don't know what's happening do you know what's happening i don't know one thing the film did have going for it was the cinematography besides the moment where the world went to pot within like five minutes with a power outage and everyone's driving around trying to get out of the state wherever they are and there's kind of like this yellow filter which is like something out of Mad Max the rest of the film is stunning so thumbs up to the cinematographer it was really beautiful against the locations that they have chosen when this big apocalypse is going on we had these beautiful scenery before our eyes so it was a nice mix of the end is well the end is worlding <laughs> the world is ending but look at all this lovely lovely world that's about to end so that was quite top notch it's just a shame that the rest of the film was so bland. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button, like the video and leave your thoughts and feelings on how it ends the Netflix film.